I think the academic voice when you're a master's student is about being able to summarise and critique all of the information that you've been reading and actually come about it in a way that shows that you understand the evidence and you understand that there can be uh, weaknesses in the evidence, um, but you're giving your best argument for why you are taking the stance that you're choosing to in your work. I think academic voice is one of the hardest things that many students um, find to develop. And I think it's, it's that move um, from being a student to being somebody whose voice is valued. Um, when you come to university at master's level, you really are stepping into that point where you can start to influence and change knowledge and understanding, and that's where your voice has to come out. We are very, very interested in what you have to say and your perspectives on knowledge that already exists and how that develops. And it's really important, it's important to me as a lecturer working here, that I engage with students and they, I learn a lot from them. Um, about how they see the different concepts that I've been engaging with many years and how they take that forward. And so developing your voice and knowing how to present your thinking and your ideas in a articulate way that is supported by the evidence and that you can bring new justification to the thinking is really what you're aiming to achieve at the end of the day so that you leave confident to be able to voice your thinking, not your opinions, but your thinking supported and justified. For us it's very important uh, uh, that the master students uh, show their ability to be independent uh, thinker and uh, be able to, um, you know, to deliver uh, their specific reflections and judgments over a specific topic and therefore we want them uh, not just to describe things but rather to, um, to give their opinion in a professional and sustained way. In your master's degree, you'll be asked to develop your own lines of inquiry from research. And this can be a very challenging process, um, but that's exactly what it is. It's a process. So it's not something you can do by reading one paper or you will do it overnight. It's, it's a systematic and almost circular um, process by which you read, you write notes, you make uh, questions, and you read more until you've actually confident in yourself that that line of inquiry is the right line of inquiry.